Hey, yo, what's up, Key and Core Enjoyers? So, you might be sat at whatever you're watching this on right now thinking, Wow, Kian, why do you look even more dumb than usual? Why do you look like you're a part of a pop punk band that claims to be so cool and progressive, but you're about to educate me on why trans women shouldn't be allowed to play sports? Well, because today, we're gonna be listening to some real music. This is inspired by the lovely James Marriott and his lovely series that he started on pretty much just listening to bad influencer music. So today I've decided to listen to Lil Huddy because I don't think he's done that yet. If he has or he's uploaded a video for Lil Huddy before I get this video out, then I'm just gonna delete my channel. But I've also decided to dress for the occasion. We got, we got, we got the emo headphones. We got the emo skull hat. I'm wearing my super mega shirt that's primarily black. I feel like if I put this in some sort of time capsule, a hundred years later, you know, Next generation e-boys are gonna find this and be like, it's vintage Let's Player merch. And then they're gonna think about their great grandpa who stand George Not Found. I have not heard any of his music. Oh, I just realized I have gloves. Why am I not wearing gloves? Yeah, these really look like they're gonna fit my very long, slender fingers. I got the e-boy hands. I gotta cover up my bright green screen nails. But well, now that I look like I think Radiohead is underground, let's listen to some music. Also, do you guys like my background? Also, <laughs> oh my open tabs! This says so much about me. <laughs> oh, it is the first thing on my recommended too. <laughs> I am ill. Twenty first. Stop. I feel like all the bands that I listened to growing up had a, a very heavy inspiration on me. People like Blink-182, All-American Rejects. <laughs> that joke at the beginning about Radiohead. Oh, I hate it here. Oh, I hate it here. I think it's, uh, it's pretty badass, and that's how it is. Oh uh, yeah, I just I just suck some shardy's blood. Y'all know how it goes. I'm thinking about getting like a tree for where the castle is, getting a tree in a graveyard for my new song. <laughs> <laughs> how up your own butt do you have to be to get a tattoo for a song you wrote? Oh, that little snippet does not look promising. Oh, is, is this gonna get me copyright struck? Is he gonna copyright strike me? Wait, how does that work if I'm not monetized? Will that still get taken down? Because the whole thing is like, they take away your money. I'm stupid, what's new, let's move on. I'll just replace it with some music if I'm scared about getting copyright struck. Oh no, oh no, it's pop punk. I'm just imagining the scenario of getting in a car with your boyfriend and you're just like really pissed because you're just like, Honey, we've had this conversation. You have to stop pissing the bed. You're 25. And then he's just like, Yeah. Oh, that was a great ending. That definitely was not good. I would not watch that again. But it could have been worse, I'll give him that. This one, the thumbnail is a gas station. He looks like what my 75 year old grandma thinks smoking weed does to you. Well, I'll admit it's not what I expected. I'm here to make jokes and say it's really bad, but like, I kind of like it. I mean, obviously it's like, you know, cringe or whatever, but I myself have said cringe culture is dead and as somebody who watches Tommy and it is going through a high school musical phase and is kind of loving this music video, I have to stick to my roots. Cringe culture is dead, even if that means that thinking this Lil Huddy music video is kind of fire. <laughs> Primary audience like 12? Well, that completely demolished my faith in humanity. I need a cleanse. I hate their music videos, but we gotta go with one. Baby Model music videos are so stupid and I hate them. We're going with BMC because it's like, it's like, it's like epic rap battles of history and I think that's really funny. Lil Huddy, take notes. You know what? I'll just, I'll keep. 
Listen, I just want to watch Baby Metal some more, okay? Let me live. Oh, it's an illness. It's an illness. You know what? I'll just put in, like, somebody's cover so you guys can still get a vibe for the song, but not actually... I don't want to get copyright nay-nayed. And I'm so upset that was just a Japan release until recently when they were like, uh-oh, COVID's happening. Uh, let's give people in the West a song that the East already had. But we did get a music video and that's kind of fire. <laughs> Then I go. Banger of the century! I'm taking off these gloves. BMC really just possesses me. Okay, I'm gonna stop watching Baby Metal before it gets out of hand. Subscribe if you like Lil Huddy, or hate Lil Huddy, or like Baby Metal, or hate Baby Metal. Give me subscribers. Mwah.